Jibble chime tracking tutorial. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Jibble.io as your chime tracking software. So let's get into it. Now, first off, you can see over here, you're on Jibble.io and it is a new platform that is available for free for unlimited users for any device anywhere and you can start tracking time of your employees. You can track your own time as well and then you can also track any device and turn it into a attendance kiosk. So there are three basic features on Jibble which are the free time tracking for payroll, and the GPS time tracking for your field staff. And then you also have any device into a attendance kiosk. So you can set up a tablet at your workspace for team members to seamlessly clock in with facial recognition as well. So let's get started and we're just gonna click on get started. It's free. And then you're gonna open up their sign up form. Now, once you go onto their sign up page, you have a option to either create your own team or join the team that you already have on Jibble, but we're going to click on create a new team and then you're going to enter your full name. So we're going to add our names and we're going to go with a email address as well. So after that, you also have to decide on your password and then you just have to click on create account. And once you do that, Jibble is going to lead you through their app login over here. Now, after that, you have to enter your organization's name and your phone number, your industry, and the size of your organization. So we're going to go with Jane Doe Inc. And you're going to add your phone number and industry and the operation size. So I'm going to fill out all of these details and I'll get back to you guys in a second. Now, after that, Jibble is going to ask you what are your goals for this project. So if you want to monitor time and attendance, or if you want to review hours for payroll, or if you want to track time on project. So depending on your needs, you're going to select something that you want to do, or you can select all three as well. And then you're just going to click on continue. After that, you're going to select what kind of devices your team is going to be using. So it can be mobile apps, which have GPS and facial recognition. It can also be a shared kiosk with quick in and out facial recognition, or it can be a personal computer as well, or it can be all three and you can select all of them and continue. After that, you can answer their questions. You can specify where you heard about this application, and then you're just going to continue. Now, once you have continued, this is going to be your basic dashboard. And on your basic dashboard, you can see that there are a bunch of pop-ups, but we're going to close those. You're going to accept the data and tracking. And now you can see over here on the left, you have your basic dashboard. You have your time sheets. You have your reports, you have your basic settings with people, time tracking, work schedules, holidays, locations, activities and projects and organizations. So to monitor everything, you can just go onto your basic dashboard, you can see any holidays, you can see who has been in and out of the application and you can also see your overall tracked hours, your activities, your locations, all of that is accessible from the dashboard. Now, how do you really track time with this application? Well. First off, you can see over here on their onboarding progress, you can see that there are definitive rules you can set for your time tracking. You can also create a work schedule and a list work locations and set up activities and add team members. So creating a work schedule is one of the most essential things you need to do. So you're just going to click on create a work schedule over here. And then you're going to see if this is a flexible weekly or fixed work schedule. And then you're going to add the days. So if you're working Monday to Friday, you can add those and then you can add the time as well. If it's nine to five every day, you can do that. Or if it's different, you can also edit them as well. You can add breaks from here. So you're just going to click on add a break. And let's just say we have a lunch break. You're going to add that. And then we're going to add that at one. And then you're going to make it a paid break. And then you can allow a break to be taken between one and two. And then once you have done that, you can save the schedule and you can start monitoring people on the schedule. So you can add team members and monitor them with a schedule like this. Now, after that, you can add offices where you are set up. So depending on wherever you are in the world, it really doesn't matter. You can add any location you want for your business, but then you have to add activities as well. So a few activities could be maybe someone needs to go on smoke breaks. Some people have other activities that they need to indulge in. You can add those over here and make them a paid leave as well. Now, after that, you have to add your team members. So adding team members is most essential. You're going to add your employee name. So if you have Janet, then you're going to add their email over here. 
and then you're going to add their phone number if you choose to. You can choose to send an email invite and a SMS invite and you're going to click on invite one member and then you're just going to continue over here. So this is how you can invite people as well. Now you can select time tracking policies on Jibble.io as well. So you're going to set a policy if it is flexible, if it is moderate or if it is strict. So you need to make sure that you do add that beforehand before you actually start inviting people and you start tracking time via this platform. Now, once you have created a overall dashboard on what kind of work schedule that has been provided by you, you can actually look at the daily, weekly, and monthly timesheets so you're going to be able to see who has clocked in when and you can see you can add a time entry from here so if it's right now I can add a time entry and I can say I went in and I can save over here or all of your employees can add their time entries and let's just say once I have added a time entry this timer starts and until I turn off this timer I can easily just monitor all of the work that I have done so this is how easy it is to track time on jibble.io it's simple easy and easy to navigate as well this is why I find this to be such a useful app and especially because it's available for free and once you have your timesheet so once you have finished with your work you're just going to click on this exit button over here. You're going to click over here and then it's going to clock out. And now you can see the overall timesheet has been created. So I logged in for one minute on Wednesday and this has been added to my timesheet. So you can monitor not only your own work progress, but progress for your employees or people that are working for you or for any of your partners as well. And you can view it all on a timesheet. And after your timesheet, you also have time reports. So you can create a report as well. A report is obviously created when you have more data, but right now I only have one minute of activity by myself and I haven't added any names so this is empty but once you have actually added your different names you can filter them out as well so if I have one project I can separate different projects on the same time tracking app and work and schedule my own work accordingly as well so well, that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.